everybody. Uh, what you just saw was me taking a bunch of the trim pieces off of the Cressida. That was including the door trim, the bottom of the door trim, and the fender, like little chrome lip kind of trim. So the reason I did that is, first of all, I got some rust here that I gotta fix. A lot of those little trim pieces cause a uh, moisture buildup. So that's kind of why you see like here there's some rust um, along with a couple places down there. Oh, I also took the mud flaps off. Mud flaps were kind of causing rust down here too. This is probably the worst spot in the car right there, which I'm probably gonna fix, but I don't know. Depends on how bad that is. I'm gonna see when we sand it down and hopefully it's just uh, that little hole right there. But, so the first thing was we're gonna fix some rust. This piece here, we might fill in with Bondo. So just basically make this whole panel flush. Um, I really like the look of uh, Cressida's when they're just all flush on the sides. So we might do that, but we'd have to um, take these little inserts out and weld in some metal there to sand down if that would focus. Another reason why I uh, took the trim off is that I'm planning on painting this pretty soon. So I want to make sure I can get in underneath all these little trim pieces and I think I might be throwing this chrome one down here back on along with mud flaps if I paint them. And I still have to decide about these fender, fender uh, trim pieces because I kind of like the look without any trim on it. So take a look. It's got the um, Miata hardtop on it right now just because got nowhere else to put it. Been driving uh, top down all week which has been nice. But yeah, I'm really liking the look. No trim. I think it'll be even better too when all these uh, things are flush with the body. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, should be hopefully, I have about a week left at my job this summer, and then I have a two week break. So during that time, hopefully gonna be doing a ton of work to this thing. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to get cracking on it. Been doing a little, couple things here and there, like taking the trim off tonight, but some of the bigger things will have to wait till next week. Uh, I really wanna lower this soon. Right now it's looking like a monster truck up front. The rears are actually a lot lower than the fronts, but still, there's some space to go lower on that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Another short little episode, but pretty soon, one week, and uh, we'll have some more stuff out there. But, but yeah, next step is going to be cutting the springs, I think. I'm gonna cut a couple of the um, rings, or. Uh, cut a couple coils out of the springs to hopefully lower this as well as cut that muffler off and then we're also gonna be I've been looking on like Craigslist and Facebook marketplace to pick up a mark 3 or mark 2 Supra so that we can go through with a manual swap get that thing out of there but, but yeah for now uh, just kind of doing some little things and wait until next week. So thanks for tuning in again and see you in the next one.